This is a new series of videos we're producing to show you the real behind the scenes of the Australian Army. Today we're here in Jarvis Bay at the Australian Defence Force Parachute School where we're going to show you how parachutes are rigged and then strap that parachute onto a TV presenter, send him up 13,000 feet and see if it opens. Let's go take a look. So we're about to enter the training wing and we're going to go speak to one of the parachute riggers, Rob, who's going to show us around and show us the new systems they have and explain some of the techniques that they use for the trainees before they get up in the air for real. So let's go inside and have a look. Hi, I'm Rob. I'm a parachute rigger at Australian Defence Force Parachuting School. I also have qualifications as a free fall instructor and a tandem master, which allows me to teach students how to fly as well as packing them. At the end, you can see so much satisfaction of being able to train someone from not knowing anything and scared, really scared to get out of a plane, to confident of getting out of a plane and very skilled in doing so all the way to the rigger side and we can pack their parachutes safely. Just do all the maintenance is really exciting. It's technical work that a lot of people like. They like to use their hands and I love that. So, so you're going to be packing a parachute for a special TV celebrity today. Yes. Is it uh, going to be all good? We're going to be safe up in the air? It's 100% safe and if it's not, you know what, we have reserves for that as well. So if the first one fails, we always have the contingency. So that, that parachute at the back, that is the one you're going to be dumping. How long does it take to actually fold a parachute? Pack it. Uh, obviously it depends on your uh, skill ability. So when you first come out of the school, you can usually somewhere between half an hour and an hour, but the guys like these, they'll probably get it done in about 20 minutes. As you can see, you've got three people. There's one packing one parachute, the other one's packing the other, and one's a supervisor who's just assisting at the moment. But when it comes to a check, they will check that parachute at certain stages. Bench and lines will come out of the lucky bands and pay out all the way. Out. Once that happened, via usually the middle cell furthest and it waits. If our paratrooper is all conscious at a certain height, depending on which sort of uh, cypress you have in there, at a, and you're going through that at a certain speed, it'll actually deploy your parachute for him. Really? Yes. So that's your automatic fallback? Yep, so your automatic activation device. You nearly, you nearly yeah. said it, so it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. Oh. So we're seeing the benefits of technology here with the use of this virtual reality system called Raptor. It allows the trainees to get a feel of what it's like falling out of the aircraft before they actually do it for real. What the guys are doing, they're, they're in their virtual reality machine and essentially uh, what they're doing, they're gonna go through a jump profile. So they're gonna jump, essentially jump out of a plane and conduct their drills as required um, all the way to the ground and onto the DZ. who believes that it's going to enhance the training yeah. in the fact that you can actually use these to jump in teams and you can sort of get used to proximities, getting used to like uh, alternative DZ landings before actually doing it live, which you can't do um, in our trainers. All right, so we're out at the Jarvis Bay airfield now. We're gonna go take this uh, parachute out for a spin and get Mark Beretta to jump from the aircraft. Uh, we'll see how we go, but once he's up there, uh, I think he's gonna be doing all right. How you going, sir? Well, hey, how you going? Well, you know that uh, parachute that we packed back at the uh, loft? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're actually gonna jump that now. You want me to jump? You are jumping. I thought Mark was gonna do it. Not anymore. You're on. All right, well, uh, looks like I'm jumping now. Uh, we're gonna check it out. Let's do it. We can enable uh, an individual that's never seen a parachute before to go into a select mission, a select location throughout the world. Parachuting is an inherently dangerous capability. We do it very safely uh, and we have amazingly professional individuals there. Enjoy it. Uh, look out. Enjoy Jarvis Bay in the Shoalhaven region as well from the sky. It's a unique experience. I'll do my best. I'll open my eyes. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thanks. So, Mark, it looks like uh, we're jumping together today. Fantastic. Um, it's going to be great fun. Uh, I just found out that the parachute they were packing for us is the one we're going to be testing. So, I don't is that know. great? It's eh? going to be pretty exciting. So, we'll That's see you awesome. up there and uh, we'll see what Jarvis Bay looks like. Can I wait? Yeah. Are you nervous? No. No, I, I trust these guys. They're, yeah, they're yeah. Train. yeah, yeah good. It's going to be a lot of fun. Good. And they're highly professional and they're yeah. just really good people. Yeah. You know, they take good care of us yeah. and they're just mighty good at what they do. Yeah. That's, that's the whole thing. It's Let's jump. Let's do it. All right, <laughs> see you up there. See you there. Well, I guess that's it. We're ready to go. I'm going to jump in the aircraft with uh, Mark and go and test these parachutes they packed for us this morning. We'll go and check it out. See you up there. These ones? Mark, Mark goes and gets a technical helmet. We're getting these ones. This is number one. Look at these. See ya. Yeah. Yeah. 
we are all the rage. Oh Alright. Look at that. That looks good. At least yours is black. Yeah, oh, no. come on, red's cool. It goes yeah, yeah, yeah it does. That's right. <laughs> I don't understand why Mark gets a fancy helmet and we get these things. Oh, I've, I've done one jump. Oh yeah, qualified. It's good. Welcome to the Army vlog. Let's go check it out. We're now sailing over the beautiful Jarvis Bay. What a job, what do you think? <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful view, isn't it? Oh yeah. We're checking out what parachute ring is all about. We're gonna go for a bit of a flight. Go for a bit of a spin. There we go! Well, ladies and gents, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see other army vlogs. I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes of the Australian army. We're going to show you the real stories and the real jobs and take you behind the scenes of this amazing lifestyle. For now, thanks for watching the Army Vlog. My name's Dave Hankin and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now. Hold on. Wow, that hurt? Okay, so that was seriously awesome. That is uh, one of the most incredible experiences you could ever have. And to do it in this location, uh, with guys like this who really, really know what they're doing, you couldn't be at safe hands. Uh, Mark, uh, my tradition from military. Oh, oh mate, thank you. There, so, very, very young calling, so it's a strong story from me. Yeah. So, Beautiful. So, it was my pleasure. I uh, asked to come along today. I hope you enjoyed it. Mate, I loved it. It was beyond what I ever imagined. Oh, Terry, I mean, you guys are so good at what you do. Oh, thank you. It's amazing. No, oh, thank you very much. And thanks for coming down. We uh, um, appreciate having you. Can I ever come back? Or just, um, well, welcome. <laughs> okay.